Um, so there's this dude, a, you, a, a tuber. Mm. <laughs> Steve loves it already. Yeah, yeah. Named Mike Corey, who documents his travel experiences. Uh, it's called Fearless and Far, where he visits different countries across the continents and immerses himself in their cultures. That's cool. Here's a particular image from one of his recent tubes of him immersing himself in the culture of getting this, what is this, a septum? septum? Yeah. <coughs> Pierced. Oh shit. Ooh. You ever seen those? Yeah. yeah. Right? That's just gonna hurt like a motherfucker. It, it, apparently, and what they do is- Is he holding a raw chicken in that side? <laughs> this <laughs> one? Yeah, yeah, what? Well, that looks like a chicken. I don't think it's a chicken. What is I think it? it's our hand with some hand. gooey stuff on it. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But like, that's just a, is an example of the people in that- Yeah, I thought you know, he was like, culture. chicken. <laughs> and the thing is, uh, he's like deeply immersing himself in this culture, respectfully, I guess you could <laughs> like say. Honey mustard all over her head for some reason. <laughs> Let's keep focusing on the ham, guys. Super weird. Uh, they don't even explain it, but there's a gooey that. hand. That's, <laughs> that's a bad thumbnail. Yeah, it's a bad thumbnail. Um, fuck you guys. It needs right, a red so circle. He goes to the Batonga tribe, and they're based in the rural northern Zimbabwe area. The Tongas can trace their origins back to Central Africa, having arrived in Zimbabwe around 300 AD. Wow. And, uh, upon arriving in the village, he decides to undergo one of the tribe's rites of passage, uh, which he's done uh, in other countries and stuff like that. So he's just like, oh, let me do it in this Batonga tribe yeah. version. Uh, he gets his septum pierced with no anesthetic using uh. a thorn as a needle. Oh my Ooh. God. Whoa. Hey, he even handpicks the thorn. Um, Thinking about should I choose a small one, should, should I choose a large one, which one's gonna be more painful or less painful, whatever. Uh, and he said, These are acacia thorns, they grow in the bushes here, this is how they do their piercings, blah blah. He proceeds to have this local lunch of mushy porridge and okra before being held down by the village grandmas as they attempt to pierce his nose. They end up spending 15 minutes trying to twist this thing through a septum and they oh, don't succeed. So it's just a super painful experience. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. But the thing that goes really, really oh, funny. There are nerves in there, right? Yeah, the thing that's funny in my opinion is after the fact he has a conversation with this right with the people in this tribe for what that rite of passage means and he realizes after the fact that only women have this. <laughs> oh shit. But nobody tells Oh my them this. god. And it, it happens as a rite of passage for young girls going through puberty that prepare themselves to marry their husband. Oh my <laughs> god. And that's what he Dude. did. This tribe is this tribe is a prank a yeah, prank show too. This tribe's like, <coughs> oh my battles. god. <laughs> it's good. Con it's good content. Yeah, it's like he got a fucking quinceanera or something. Yeah. He's like, yeah, everyone does this, right? Okay, cool, 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 cool. The fact they still did it that's pretty funny. And yeah. I picture tried to do it. I picture all these but other Batanga like tribesmen like, oh, I'm gonna fucking hit that. Right <laughs> <out there." laughs> Fresh me. They failed to do it too. Yeah, they failed oh, to do wow. it. Uh, Either that, or maybe maybe the grandmas were truly being nice and being like, "Oh, let's like you give them the experience it? and the pain, but let's not actually do it." I don't Did know. Did not go all the way through? That's so now he yeah, just has like a drywall why? screw. Tubers are so weird. I got my cartilage pierced by hand, and it was the fucking worst thing ever. What, like this one up here? So I had one up here. It's not even that bad. And then I wanted another one. <laughs> I went to the other one. I went to my homie's house. Like this is way worse. Oh, I never got that one. I never got that one. But then he, uh, I was like, he's like, oh, I, I could pierce it for you because I have this, you know, the hook, hook needle oh, yeah. thingy. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, you don't have the fucking the gun thing. He goes, nah, but I'll, I'll pierce. No, it that's for at Claire's. You. Yeah. Well, it's also not as sanitary. Yeah. So I was just doing it in his room. Oh. And he starts pushing it through, oh. and then it ended up being wrong, and my fucking thing was all dangling like this. I'm like, God, oh. fucking damn. So I had to go back to like K Town and. You had to go to Claire's. And get it fit. Well, yeah. you couldn't go to Claire's because I was like, Wait a minute, you went to Claire's, you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you buy like two earrings and you get your piercing free or something? No. Oh, I had to go to Cape Town. I was like 15. You can't go to, you have to go to Claire's when you're 18. I wanted to go to Claire's. Oh, yeah. That's uh, it's corporate. Yeah. <laughs> you have to go to, if you go to Cape Town, you can go there when you're like 12 and you shit. You just slip yeah. in like a nice little $10 bill. And really? Like, I don't know. I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever have that thing happen when like, when you know when guys get their ears pierced the first time and then all the other dudes make them scared by going, oh, dude, you got it on the gay, gay side. side. <laughs> yeah. yep. That's the, the best, best, bro. Because everyone side. falls for that, yeah. yeah. Well, I remember seeing, I remember being like, a young, insecure age and I saw Harrison Ford on a on talk show and he had the earring and I was like, that's the gay side. <laughs> <laughs> that's the gay side. <laughs> like it was a like a beacon. Like a yeah. signal? 
Yeah. It's like, I'm down to fuck. Yeah. yeah. But it was like heartbreaking. It was like Harrison Ford's like the man and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Han Solo. Gay, oh. And gay side. Oh. He's wearing on the gay side. That's what we're doing. We had 3 million subscribers, we're getting it on the gay side. <laughs> Oh shit! Wait, well, still, does it still? Is it the right side or the I left think it's right just side? Both, because we've got yeah. we're all shitheads. Right? Yeah, yeah. Down with that, don't matter. No, but but imagine our wives. Like, these oh yeah, fucking god, yeah. this has got the one earring. Just kiss. one on the right. I can't even remember which one it was, because no matter what side someone had it on, we would just say, "Oh, bro, no, you yeah. can't." Look at the gay side. side. I think you're. <laughs> I think the left is straight. Yeah, I think the yeah, right side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like the right. But it's got to be a disco ball. I don't ball. trust him. After what, after what, what I have on my body proves yeah. that you don't do the research. Oh, a banana. Me, do not do the research, bro. Let me find out. Which side's the gay side? Yeah. Man. Which earring signals? It's also, is that a side. real is that a real yeah, thing at all? Thing. Yeah. yeah. Or is that something, something urban myth? Or did straight guys make it up? Often wear a single piece of jewelry on the right ear to indicate sexual preference. We were right. See? Right side. Uh, You're not gay. What about in Hawaii? I do know my gay. The flower is that. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's the gay? When you side? have the flower, no, that's the married <laughs> side. <laughs> married and single. <laughs> For yeah, guys too. Fucking funny. Isn't it funny how people had to create all those signals back then? Because you had to like show people like I'm a part of the club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the difference is when everybody knows what the discrete signal is. Yeah. That's that's. that's it's, I just laugh at that mentality of like that we were that young and we were like, oh, I really hope everyone thinks I'm straight. Yeah. That's <laughs> so it was the fucking straight Olympics, bro. So corny, but this is also the age where we're like, dude, Marilyn Manson took his ribs out so he's sucking so him dead. dead. But that's like that's like the 90s when you first figure out what gay is with your friends. The only thing you ever want to do is not be gay. It's yeah. so stupid. <laughs> Make sure you can confirm do everything possible. It's like, okay, how many times did I show everybody I'm not gay today? And how do I do it tomorrow, but better? Yeah. It's so insane. It's so funny that you think that being straight requires so much effort. <laughs> no, I, had, I think I had what maybe... Upkeep. It requires upkeep. I think I had like a five year gap before learning what... Uh, learning the word gay uh -huh. and then the definition. Oh. So you used the word like, before you even knew? Right, it was, oh, don't be fucking gay. Oh, you're fucking oh, gay. So you and didn't know that... You were like, oh, you don't, okay, I'm, I ain't gay. And then it wasn't until like a soft when I was a sophomore in high school that I met that I knew I met homosexual. But for those five years without knowing the definition, you I just thought like, man's stupid. I just don't want to be gay though. <laughs> for those whatever five it years, is, yeah, whatever yeah. it is, I don't want to be. Yet. I ain't gay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, this turned into a great OTR. I don't know what you were talking about. This is a great OTR. <laughs> it's funny because in Filipino culture, I knew what baklat was. Oh. But I didn't know that that's the same as gay. Yeah. Because, like, we don't give a crap about being bakla. That's just funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because all the, as, like, as, from, from being a kid on Filipino TV, there's gay people there's everywhere. They, they don't, it's not like taboo. Like, they're the yeah. host of the show, they're always the funniest person in the movie. Mm. But then, like, you don't want to be gay, though. <laughs> I want to be that dude. Yeah, my uncle was gay and he died of AIDS, right? So, uh, thanks for bringing it up. But so, it's, but it's it's one of those things where I remember that knowing that he was gay, but then like not associating it with me and my age range. And so, it, like, even though I knew that and accepted that it was completely normal and fine, like it was, was an old people thing. It right? didn't mean that I. Everyone knows I'm not gay. Uh, <laughs> it's such a dumb fucking idiot kid thing. <laughs> if I was your friend back then, I would have been like, you know, it's hereditary. Like, if it's in your bloodline. Oh, for sure. Like, bro. I would have been like, you're going to grow into try one. To be it doesn't skip a generation. <laughs> you're going to grow into one, dude. <laughs> yeah. The, I remember on the radio, I think it was like Kiss FM in the 90s, there was some like person that was, or maybe it was K Rock, they were talking about like five signs that you might be gay or something. This was like real shit. That's so. Yeah. And yeah, then like, four of the five. Yeah, and then you know, on the way to school, everybody listened to the same radio. So yeah. we, we all got there, we were like, Did you hear it? Are you gay? Are you gay? <laughs> what? Like, dude, Trevor's gay. Yeah, all the girls heard it and they were like, half the class is gay now. I just want to know what the signs. There were dumb it signs. It. it was probably hygiene shit. It was probably. like, it was like, yeah, the, it was like honestly, it was like where your cuticles are located on your nails. It was that shit. Yeah. It was really dumb. I'm That's probably gay. gay. Five yeah. signs you might be gay. But then all of us had that. You like so peanut like, butter? You I like, guess we're yeah. all gay. <laughs> <laughs> if, you like, if you like smooth peanut butter, you're gay. I just like how it had nothing to do with what, what you loved. Like, it had nothing to do with whether you loved a man or woman. It had nothing to do with that. It was like if you airballed three times in a row. <laughs> Oh, that for sure was gay. Oh, you like playing handball? You fucking gay ass. You're gay, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's gay? Tetherball was okay, though. 
tetherball. I remember somebody had a unicycle at school and I secretly thought it was cool, but I was like, nah, it's gay. Nah, it's gay. <laughs> oh, those are the saddest things. That's what I thought yo yo's were too. I was like, that's just kind of tight. Or hacky gay sacks? <laughs> I don't want people to I hella party like gay if I yeah. play hacky with Hacky sacks? You got a Dunkin' yo yo? Hacky sacks. I do, I do still have yo-yos. Hockey socks recently. were so hard to get good at. That's sad to like when you abstain from certain things because you were just convinced it was gay. gay yeah. I didn't want to join the school play because I thought they were all gay. Sad, and then I saw a performance a and I was like, time. Yeah. I know. that was so yeah. cool. There Missed was a TV a program things. at our this high school. The drama is about to get a hand job in the curtains. Yeah, I would have loved the whole that, thing. There's nothing gay about that. Morning and drama. It's, that's the place to go. You know those like chambers where it's like a box and then money flies around with wind and yeah. you have to catch it? Yes. Someone came to the school like a special thing and wanted us to do that and everyone was like, that's gay. Because <laughs> <laughs> like it looks like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You need money. <laughs> so, money. So all the cool guys are like, I ain't gay, bro. That's, I'm not doing that shit. But it's like, how is that gay? It's like, yeah, I could use the funds, man. I could really use the funds, that's but like, nah, that's super gay. That's yeah. So what the so funny. Like, you're just like, yeah. oh, I want that's so gay. Oh my gay. god. Kids in the, it's so stupid. Yeah, the '90s were amazing. It's yeah. so dumb, dude. Nonstop. Like, when people complain about homophobia today. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. Tell Taika, like his friends start calling each other gay, then I can start calling him gay for stuff. <laughs> oh my god! That's raising him right. Because I, I need him to learn, like, the kid definition. In, oh, then I can yeah, throw it at him. Do kids first. still say that to I each other? I don't think so. They probably have another uh -huh. word. Some woke ass yeah. shit, yeah. probably. Yeah. Fuck. I assume they, that they this probably is shame that a lot. The space that does it the most in the entire world right now. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. probably a that's fair statement. No, it's on fucking online Call of Duty. That's oh yeah, dude, okay. it's, it's it's not us. But that's yeah. probably like in, in kindergarten. That's probably the teacher's first day. Is she just tells the kids like, don't call each other gay, and they're just like five. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did see Tyga play Call of Duty, and what? I was like, oh. What do you, you mean you saw him like he just randomly? You about to enter into this whole new world of different languages. Where did he play that? Oh, it's on his iPad. He plays his cousins. Oh. Now he plays Roblox and then he plays Call of Duty. <laughs> Dude, he, he's in for it. He's, he's, he's about to learn. He's about to learn. Shooting motherfuckers. But he, he uses all these like cute little words like, come, come get me, you loser. Come get me. Like that. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> like, progress quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, loser can only last so long. Yeah. <laughs>